Citrulline malic is a non-essential amino acid and it's principally a precursor to arginine and that's been studied and provided evidence for supposedly increasing nitric oxide levels but in human studies it's not come true. There have been three main studies on humans. First off, they found there was reduced fatigue and that's due to increased ATP production and the study showed that in aerobic and anaerobic exercise and that means when you're doing say a bench press which the study was actually on you will continue to get more reps out much like creatine might have and the other is obviously when you're doing aerobic exercise such as running you'll be able to go for long. Second, there's been a study showing increased recovery there was a 40% reduction in muscle soreness and that's due to the fact it buffers against ammonia and acidosis. Finally, there was a study that showed enhanced utilisation of BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, the building blocks to protein. So if you want greater endurance, improved recovery and enhanced nutrient partitioning, I would supplement with citrulline mouth. Those I recommend, and this is due to the studies used, chose these amounts, is 6 to 8 grams. This is to be taken pre-workout, say 30 minutes before your work. Higher dose can cause an upset stomach and that's something to be aware of. Citrulline malate itself is not a cheap supplement, but if you want to improve your recovery, get more reps out and possibly improve nutrient partitioning, which is all going to provide greater stimulus for muscle growth, then go ahead and use it in your pre-workout routine. If you've enjoyed my content, please subscribe. I really appreciate it and like and share any of my videos. Thank you very much.